In this topology, I'm using public IP version 4 addresses. You can see a list of assigned IP version 4 addresses on Wikipedia. This address block 8.8.8.0 .8 .8 belongs to level 3, 15 belongs to HPE, and 17 belongs to Apple. But we're going to use those address blocks in our network to simulate a BGP network running on the internet. I've configured the topology with basic IP addressing. So what we need to do here is configure BGP. Show IP interface brief shows us that this address is configured on gigabit 0 slash 0 slash 0 on router 1. And this loopback address is configured on router 1. Can router 1 ping router 2? Yes, it can. So we have IP connectivity between router 1 and router 2. Router 2 also has a loopback address configured of 2.2.2.2 .2 and IP addresses configured on the Ethernet interfaces. The same is true for Router 3. Loopback address of 3.3.3.3 .3 with IP addresses on Ethernet interfaces. And lastly, the same thing is configured on Router 4. Router 4 has a loopback address configured, as well as an IP address on the gigabit interface. So let's configure a BGP. In global configuration mode, router, BGP, we need to specify an autonomous system number. In our example, it's 65001. Now, unlike IGP, such as EIGRP and OSPF, we have to manually configure and neighbor relationships in BGP. In BGP, we use this concept. Just because I want to be your neighbor, it doesn't mean that you want to be my neighbor. So both sides need to be configured statically with the IP address of the neighbor to form neighbor relationships with. We then need to specify the remote autonomous system, which in this example is 65002. So that's how you configure neighbor relationships in BGP. We can then advertise networks. So network and specify a network. Now this is really important. You need to specify a mask. This is not an inverse mask. This is a mask based on the route in the routing table. So show IP route shows us that we have a slash 32 network directly connected. That's the IP address configured on loopback zero. So show run shows us that this IP address is configured on the loopback and it appears in the routing table as follows. That means that when we configure BGP, we must configure BGP with the correct IP address and mask in exactly the same way as it appears in the routing table. Slash 32 mask. So we use a slash 32 mask here. So let's advertise network 8.8.8.0 .8 with the mask for that network. Notice it's not an inverse mask. It's a standard mask. Again, that's based on this information as shown in the routing table. So that's how you configure basic BGP. You specify your autonomous system number. You specify your neighbor with their autonomous system number. And then you advertise routes into the BGP routing table.